Hi everyone, I have a new project to share with you. This is Kathy and I'm going to be using the March 2017 Paper Pumpkin Kit. Today's share is a Honey Bunny card just in time for Easter. Here's a quick shot of that and I'm just going to rhyme off a few of the items that we're going to be using in today's card. First is the heart punch that we've used in the past to create the bunny face and we're going to use a tiny piece of the post-it note. We're not going to use that huff punch anymore or half circle punch anymore. Uh, I'll just show you what I'm going to do there. And then we're going to use two of the small bunny ear and one bunny ear, large bunny ear from the kit. With that large bunny ear, I basically just peeled it off and put it on to a piece of cardstock and then just cut around it leaving a white border. But we're gonna start with the bunny face with that heart piece there. And we're gonna stamp out the nose in Blushing Bride. And then we're going to stamp the mouth with chocolate chip. And try not to make it too, too long, that mouth part. And note the eyes, how I've placed it. We're just gonna use the one eye on the left side of that, of that block and see how it's not as wide or I didn't use the full length of the eyes. That way, the uh, when the eyes are a bit closer, it creates a much cuter face and, and it is a bit more proportioned to the size of the heart piece there. Okay, so with Pink Pirouette, we're gonna use the whiskers from the stamp set. And then I'm just going to uh, sponge in a, just a bit of some cheeks and then shade around it slightly. I did grab the uh, Blushing Bride Stampin' Right marker later, well afterwards, <laughs> and I just kind of redefined those whiskers because um, as the ink dried, it kind of faded a bit into each other. So you'll kind of see that at the end. And then for the ears, we're just gonna cut those out, leaving a small white border. And then just butt them together at the bottom there, and then glue them together and right onto the back of the bunny head. So that's pretty simple. Now I figured the bunny needed some arms. So I originally was thinking about some paws, but I figured I'd just create crate them and stick them on the sides to kind of give it some bunny arms instead. And we'll just fussy cut that out. And I did color them or color them again with the Stampin' Right marker in the same color because it looked a bit too fady. So I just want it to be a little darker. Okay, and then just two little blob of glue on each side and just glue those little arms on there. So pretty cute. Now we're on to that little tiny mask. I just stamped out the egg and created a, you know, semi close to a circle shape mask. And then we'll just stamp with the solid egg all the way around the mask piece there to create a small little flower. And for the center, we're gonna use the egg that has the dots on it. And we're gonna just remove that mask piece and then stamp right on the center there. And then just for ease, I'm gonna cut that piece out before I start coloring. And these are the Copic colors that we're gonna be using, nothing fancy at all. Um, it doesn't quite color very well on this kind of cardstock that I am using. So I just thought I'd pull those out since they are right in front of me. And, uh, but you could very well have used uh, Stampin' Right markers. I believe I used, or I would use the Pink Pirouette along with the Blushing Bride and maybe a hint of Sweet Sugar Plum if you really needed it. I'm just coloring along around the center part of the flower here and then creating some definition on the tips. And uh, once the ink there dries, it will fade a little bit, so it won't be as prominent. And then for the center, I'm just kind of dotting around that just to 
lighten up those white dots because they were a bit too white. And then we'll fussy cut that out. All right, so we're going to assemble the card, top folding card base, four and a quarter by 11, score at five and a half, and then the blue panel there, I believe is Debra Denim at four and a quarter by five and a half, and then this design paper is one and a half inches, and then the smaller one is a half inch, and it's from the Love Blossom paper pack. And that is a retired die. What you need is something that will create a scallop border. And that one turned out to be an inverted scallop border. What I should have done was uh, die cut it from the top part, not the bottom. But it was a happy accident and it worked out just fine. Now this circle is a three and a quarter inch circle in diameter and that is a spellbinder circle. It is larger than the one that can't, comes with the layering circles. I just happened to have that circle that I die cut a while ago and I never used it so I figured I'd use it in this project. Now here are the flowers that I made earlier. We're just gonna glue those down and I did make a mistake here and you're gonna see what I do with that. See the bunny had nowhere to go. <laughs> it was sitting a little too high and I was supposed to put the bunny down first and then the flowers. So I got carried away there. So I had to rip the, mo rip the flowers off very carefully. And then I was able to place the bunny first. And then we'll just re-glue down those flowers. And those darker flowers were colored in with Flirty Flamingo and Blushing Bride. And uh, here I am thinking that it needed something else because those flowers were kind of getting a bit lost. So with Bermuda Bay, I stamped out the Easter eggs that came in the kit and just fussy cut them out and then just glued them around the flowers there just to give it an additional pop of color. And for the sentiment, I'm using the Happy Easter from the kit with Dapper Denim. We're going to stamp that three times. And then uh, all I did was just hand cut them out, nothing fancy. And cut out the two happy words separately. And then we're just going to pop them up on the side there. and they don't have to be super straight. So I think that turned out to be a very fun card. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for joining me today. And I also wanted to thank each and every one of you for coming to my channel and leaving your wonderful comments. Take care, bye now.